In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to construct a box plot using MATLAB. I already have the, the data imported and I have the live script set up. If you don't know how to do those things, you may wanna watch one of my earlier videos like the introduction to MATLAB or also the one on summary statistics. And that'll show you, show you how to set up the working directory, how to set up the, the live script and also import the data. Um, I named my uh, data as drug, uh, just to make it really easy so I can call that easier for future um, functions and then also for the arguments that go in that function. So we're gonna generate a box plot and we're simply gonna do that by using the box plot function. And I'm just gonna do, uh, use the uh, drug data set and then I have to use the dot and then I have to call the variable name after. And I'm not gonna put any other arguments in there or anything else on there and this will really quickly generate a box plot for us. You can see it's not uh, very neat. It doesn't label some of the stuff and we may wanna um, make some changes to this. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this box plot is I'm gonna show you how to add the colors argument in here. So we have to surround this with quotations or uh, apostrophes. And so the, the argument that we're adding is colors and that's with a capital C. And then after that, we have to choose the color that we want to use. I'm not going to use Y because that is yellow. I'll use B as in blue. So if we want this all to show up as blue, I can simply run the code and it'll change this to a blue colored box plot. Another thing that I, I like to have is I like my box plots oriented horizontally rather than vertical. So one of the arguments that we can add in here is the orientation argument. And the default is vertical, so I'm gonna add in the, the horizontal. And then when I go ahead and I run this function now, it'll orient the box plot from vertical to horizontal. Now there's other things that we can add. We can add, for example, a Y label. And the Y label is going to be the high dose. And I forgot to enclose that in apostrophes or quotations. So we're just gonna call that the high dose drug. That's the variable we're using is the high dose. Um, and then we could also add, for example, a title, and the title we'll add is gene expression for the high dose. And when I go ahead and run this, it'll make those adjustments to the graphic. It adds the title, it adds the label right there. We could also add an X label if we wanted to. I'm not gonna cover that right now. But there's a number of different things that you can do, and you can play around with the arguments and everything else. The other thing that I do wanna point out is I know that this data set doesn't have outliers, so I'm gonna generate a new box plot for the other variable. So I'm gonna use that box plot function again, and this is going to be for the drug dot control, and I'll just go ahead and run this so we see it. When I run this for the uh, control group, you can see I have a box plot that's not very pretty. Those symbols right there are the outliers, and I'm gonna show you a couple things that you can do for kind of controlling some of that stuff. So again, some of the arguments we might wanna use, we might wanna change the color so it's a little bit nicer. And I'll just change the color to uh, R for red. And then there's a symbol argument. And with this symbol argument, and I should have a capital S on that by the way, this is going to change the symbol that is used for the outlier. I'm gonna change that to an asterisk. So again, this has to be surrounded in the apostrophe. And I'll go ahead and run this. And you'll see that it adjusts my box plot, changes it to a red box plot, and then changes those outlier symbols to an asterisk rather than a plus sign. So that's just another um, thing that you can play around with. Hopefully this gives you enough information to start playing around with creating a box plot uh, for a data set. 